הקדוש בוקר אור, וקיים בהלכה 3, day 18, סימן ו', page 35, הלכה ט'. Our minhag is to say אפילו שעה אחת, right, or אחת, whichever one it is, but he comes and he says that Ashkenazim, they don't have the minhag of saying that אפילו שעה אחת, they, they omit, they take off אפילו שעה אחת in the middle of a shari yatsar. Some people say שעה אחת, and some people say שעה אחת, and that is our minhag. So it all depends on the different minhagim. Look in the footnote, uh, okay? There's no footnote here. Fine. Yesh korsim, some people have the girsa to say, rofe chole chol basar, umafli lasot, but our minhag is rofe chol basar, umafli lasot, and you don't change the minhag. So let's see what it says, number 303. The variant version is that Rabbeinu Aviyah Yizri, right? Rabbeinu Asher and the Darke Moshe. The version commonly accepted is that of the Alachok Dolot, Rabbeinu Yitzchak El Fasi, which is the Rif, and the Rambam. And it is the text appearing in the third version of Shulchan Aruch. The Dirish explained that it is possible to say that Hashem heals without there being any illness, since maintaining people's health, despite the tax and nature mounts against it, is in itself an act of healing. Meaning, Zotomeret, don't think that HaKadosh Baruch Hu only cures the sick. HaKadosh Baruch Hu cures the ones which are healthy. Because the fact that it's, a, nowadays we call it preventative medicine, but the fact that we come and we, we, we say that look how many things which are going against the human being, and then he's being protected, that in itself is already good. So he says, because it says, we explain the Pasuk in Shemot, I will not afflict you with any of the illnesses, right? I'm not going to come and I'm not going to place them. Why? So the commentator is wondering, what are you, what are you talking about? How is he healing if you're not afflicted? means I'm going to cure you. Now, if I'm not going to place upon you, so therefore, why do I need to cure you? You don't need to cure you. And the answer is, what we just mentioned now, because that is a cure. Meaning the fact that you don't get sick, that in itself is a cure. Although the Taz insists that both versions are equally valid, the Chorim have testified that the custom is to say, Fine. Next. The correct spelling of Rofei Chol Basar Mafli Lasot with the second word beginning of the soft consonant of Achaf. So it's Rofei Chol Basar, not Kol Basar. So it's Rofei Chol Basar, U Mafli Lasot. Okay? Yes. Okay, as explained in Rabbi Yosef Chaim Mizrahi in his appendix to the book of Od Yosef Chai, the words Rofei Chol Basar are considered an inseparable set of words since the first word ends with an Aleph. The rule is that the next word is going to be a soft consonant. In this case, the second word begins with letter Chaf instead of kaf. See above in the footnote, halakha, six. Okay? Next. If someone concluded the blessing by saying, rofei chol basar, and he skipped out, mafli lasot. Rofei chol basar. And that's it. So he says, his blessing is still valid, and he doesn't have to repeat it. Zadayim berachat oba. Meaning it's still fine. He doesn't have to go back. 305. It says over here like this. The Talmud in Mesech Brachot teaches the Chachamim, they came and they said, how the blessing of Asher Yatzah should be concluded. Rav comes and he says that it's Rofei Cholim. Shmuel comes and he says, Abba, right, has pronounced everyone in the world, is ill. Right, but it's Kilwa, Kulam Cholim. What's the meaning of Cholim? The correct is Rofei Chol Basar. Right, Rav Shashat says, Mafli Lasot. So Rav Papa says, Rofei Chol Basar, Mafli Lasot. Did you see how many versions? One more time, Rofei Cholim. So Abba comes and he says, what, he just made everyone Cholim. So it should be, right, Rofei Chol Basar. The next one says, no, mafli lasot. So the last one, Rav says, you know what? Put everything together. Rofei chol basar, mafli lasot. So the Rishon and Sion derived from this passage that if someone made the bracha and he said, Rofei chol basar, it's good according to Shemuel. And that's likewise the ruling of the Eshel of Ramotchach, which means since there's an opinion in the Gemara that that's how the way you're supposed to finish the bracha, Rofei chol basar, so therefore, B'diyavad, if a person finished that way, it's going to be okay, even though that's not the proper way, but it's still going to be okay if you already finished that way. The Tzitz Eliezer also disagreed with this real ruling. He said, no, since the Papa says it's Rofei Chol Basar Mafli Lasot, you can't follow any other opinion. The Sholat Sion defended his ruling, explaining that the Lord of Papa said it's preferable. He did not mean that if you use the other version, it's not good. He just says this is the proper version. So the Sholat Sion also discussed the Salachah regarding someone who relieved himself. And he said in the Amidah prayer before, saying, Asher Yatzar, perhaps he's suggested that he can no longer say the Bracha because he already said Rofei Chol Amo Yisrael. Imagine, a person went to the washroom. He didn't say Asher Yatzar. Immediately went back, he did the Amidah. Now after the Amidah, he won't say, rof, rof, he won't say Asher Yatzar. There's a problem. If you just said in the Bracha of Refaenu, Rofei Chol Amo Yisrael, how do you say the Bracha of Asher Yatzar, Rofei Chol, rofe chol Batsam Afli Yatzar? You already did it, right? The what? 
So the Rishon and Sion concluded that the blessing of the Amidah cannot substitute the Yatzar. Now, why? Listen carefully. He says the blessing for health, in the, which is included in the Amidah, is a request for healing and curing people's illnesses. Whereas the blessing of Asher Yatzar is a praise for creating us in such a wondrous fashion to, to, to function, to maintain the health. Exactly. Meaning, Rofei Chole Amo Yisrael is a bracha for the fu'ah for those that are sick. Rofei Chol Basar Mafli Lasot, we're 100% healthy. But first of all, it's we're blessing, it's a praise to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Nothing to do with the cure this. We don't need a cure right now. Baruch Hashem, we're Bari V'Shalem. But we're praising HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the beauty of how we made our bodies and the Bezrat Hashem maintain our health the way that it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, but but even the, for that, even still for that, that wouldn't have been enough. So he says the two blessings cannot uh, substitute for one another at all. Furthermore, the blessing that not only refers to God nations, the healing of the nation of Israel, and the Shadi Yatsad is for every human being. So that's another difference. Yeah? Meaning the, 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 the one of the Amidah is Rofei Cholea Mo Yisrael. Only the Israel. Rofei Chol Basar. Chol Basar is every human being. Every single human being. So that's why it's going to be different. Right between the two different 